out this bike. Okay. Is um, Jeff here then? Or? Yeah, he's. You want to go talk to him? <laughs> sure. He's right there, locked down. Okay. Right in the corner. This is Jeff. Jeff, this is Joel. Hi, Joel. Hi, Hi Joel. Uh, we we're just wondering uh, what, what you're after here. We want to stop this illegal timber sale. Okay. How long? Uh, how long are you guys planning on? On staying here. Well, how long are you guys gonna log this? <laughs> question with question. I just wondered what your intentions were today. Well, we wanted to stop this timber sale as best we could. Okay, do you have any intention of unlocking and, and leaving? Um, stop the sale. Yeah, we stop the sale. Cancel it. Okay. Well, that's why I wanted to know. Okay. Thanks. Let the music begin. <laughs> <laughs> well, you tell me this forest is a thousand years old. You want to send it to Tokyo. Don't say right now. Don't say right now. Don't say right now. You want to send it to Tokyo. Don't say right now. But that little gear and change sure seems right to me. I took off my hat, I took off my shoes, I danced all night to the monkey ranch blues. No, no, don't seem right. No, don't seem right. But that monkey ranch it sure seems right to me. This timber sale was not subject to environmental laws because of the salvage rider signed by President Clinton last year. Um, it suspended all environmental laws, and as a result, the Kootenai National Forest is clear-cutting up to 500 acres in size and beyond uh, in the areas where the fire burned. They are building 10 miles of new roads where in the, in the O'Brien Creek watershed, where bull trout are still known to spawn, and that's one of the few places that bull trout still spawn in the Kootenai River system. Well, the Kootenai is uh, fond of trying to get people to buy that the fire was a catastrophe for the forest. In fact, a real catastrophe is when they put in 500-acre clear cuts and gouge in roads in bull trout watersheds. What we're doing today is we're blocking the sale. We're going to just physically stop the sale from going forward. We're here to tell people that this is a timber sale that should be stopped, and we're here to stop it. It's illegal, and the Forest Service is obviously proceeding with it. They've authorized it, so we're going to have to be the ones to stop it. What are we doing here? We're trying to stop lawless logging. That's what we're doing. The Kootenai's the, probably the worst forest in all Region 1. They cut more timber in a summer than all the other forests combined. Right here, we're, we're sitting here on Situation 1 grizzly bear habitat that the Fish and Wildlife Service and the Forest Service have ignored for years. They just cut it like it doesn't matter.
Yeah, I guess so. Hi, right. my name is Steve. They're gonna let us go home? Well, the gentleman would like to speak with uh, whomever in charge. That's me, go ahead. his head off? <laughs> Start. Did they know helicopter logging is the most environmental logging there is? I'm sure that they did. <laughs> Are you guys coming out? Yeah, for how long? Until we come back to work tomorrow. I'm asking you to let the uh, let the fellows through, all right? <laughs> you know, they don't see eye to eye. We're both ends of the spectrum here. The group and the loggers out there, they're doing what they have to do, and you guys are doing what you have to do. I'm caught in the middle. My opinions don't matter. It would be no different if you guys, if they were blocking you from coming up here and having free use of their roads. If they, had a, if they had you guys blocked from free use of the roads, then we'd, we'd be dealing... Free use of the roads, well, we won't get into Well, our issue is When we access. use them and leave them, they look the same as when we got there. There's a big difference. We're not killing them. I don't understand why, how we damage the fish, though. Well, stream sedimentation. Yeah, we're out of here. We just think that the timber companies that manage their own lands properly, they don't have to turn the course. I just got the word. All right. Get your son. Tom's up here, he's got a crew in here. We told them we'd let them out when they, their job's done. Well, they'll be coming out when their job's done. But yeah, and we'll let them out when their job's done. That'll be at 3.30. Well, meanwhile, we're closing the gate. No, you're not. That's for us to say, Tom. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'll say that. OK. We can occupy the road. Put your plans, Tom. You need oh. to get a couple of log trucks. Yeah, I'd like to get back there, too. Uh -huh. And then tomorrow morning, we'll start with the procedure. I've got a helicopter. I'm on borrowed time because of the weather. I understand. And, uh, and then we'll just keep going, OK? OK. And uh, hope these people have some common sense and work with us on this. I appreciate you mm -hmm. working with mm -hmm. both sides, too. OK? You know, I don't log like my dad does. He didn't log like his dad did. We're doing the best job we know how to now. No, you're not. You're not using the best available technology. You're not using the best available data. You're ignoring the public. You're ignoring the law. We're subsidizing this operation to make the wood cheap. Why are you guys cutting green trees on this sale? Huh? Why are you cutting green trees on this sale? It's a salvage sale. There's green and there's dead. A lot of those trees that are dying now, they really don't know they're dead yet. Well, don't. Because they're green looking. I think we can work together. I don't think we're too far apart. We might disagree on some areas, but I don't think we're that well, far apart. Well, unfortunately, they mm -hmm. took away our appeals process. This is the this you is no the place that we have to trout. voice they our opinion. Together. Right here. No longer here. have to consider bull trout. They no longer have to consider grizzly bears enough. No longer have to consider any of the things under any environmental law. They just let them go. Well, what the story is, is uh, 
we're gonna, gonna allow the log trucks to have access through. Anybody that uh, is just here for support and wants to step off to the side won't be arrested. People that remain in the roadway and block access to the logging trucks are going to be arrested for disorderly conduct. So what are you saying? I want to go home. Hmm? Are those guys going to go home too? No, they're going to haul logs. They're going to haul logs. Uh, it makes it hard for them. It makes it really hard. Okay, you guys have had your chance now. We're not going to tamper all night. So we got things to do. I'm sure you guys do too. So either clear the roadway or be arrested. And uh, we do have to work. Please don't touch the truck. Hey, hey. Ho, oh, ho. Oh. Stop driving. We've got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, oh, ho. Oh. of anger the young grizz runs away he dumpster dives and he raids a car steals a picnic basket but he don't get far in a clear cut <laughs> and his mama cries